Arnold Jr. and today we're going to be relicking this guitar neck. Um, I got a special neck ordered for this build. It has the truss rod adjustment down here um, and it's a smaller radius neck but as you can see I got the amber on the neck and it's kind of aged a little bit and uh, we kind of went ahead and did the back also. Pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. The only thing I have to do now is actually age the dots and we did darken the fretboard a little bit. Um, I do got to do a little bit of touch-ups because I did get a little bit of shellac on my finger and touched it. I don't know if you can see that, but thin shellac's easy to sand out. Um, so that's why I like working with shellac is because it's durable and it gives it that nice, um, that nice lacquer look, right? I didn't want to use lacquer because one, the weather, two, don't really have a place to do it. And I didn't feel like dying this year, so I went ahead and used Ambered Shellac. And I think it turned out pretty cool. It's going to match the guitar pretty well. And I love the way that the back looks. It looks pretty cool. I did follow a picture, a real road-worn guitar with a neck like this. Whether they sanded it down like that and it was like that, I don't know. I like it and I like the way it looks. And that's what I went with. So I think... This is actually going to look pretty good. I think it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna look real nice together. So I'm pretty excited. It, it does have the vintage style tuner holes, so I am getting vintage style tuners. But I think it's gonna look good. It matches the the wear on the the body and everything. I am going after the lacquer finishes. I am going to chip a, the little bit of the headstock up a little bit. And kind of do stuff like that. Um, the lacquer only, or the uh, shellac only takes an hour to dry, but to fully cure, I usually wait a couple days. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the process on how I did this, and then uh, you guys can see what I've done. What I did here was tape off the back of the neck so I can separate the amber finish and the bare wood, and then I'm taking dark walnut stain and kind of just rubbing it lightly on the front of the headstock, on the sides, and I'll also do the back to the tape parts. That way I can go ahead and when it dries, sand it back so we kind of get that dark amber age look that we're trying to go for. So basically, you can just see me just rubbing it in, and I stop where the tape is. Then I come back with 600 grit sandpaper and I just go ahead and sand it back to where you can see that wood grain showing through and I'm, I'm trying to leave a little bit of dark spots on the sides and on the back and on the front and wherever I you know stained it that way it'll give it a darker look when I put the amber over top of it to give it more of that uh, vintage vibe After I get that done, I go ahead and get some amber shellac with a paper towel and I drench it and I just pretty much cake it on there. This stuff dries in an hour and each coat I sand it back. It's just like true oil finishes. Each coat you do, sand it back so the next layer you put on, you can sand back and then the next layer you put on, you can sand back and you have a smooth finished so basically that's what I did here I put it on you know on the heel and on the back of the headstock and on the front the more you put on there the darker it gets and now I have the bare wood and what I do here is just blend in the wood and the amber finish 
I used an ebony stain on the bare wood side of it. And I just sand it back a little bit so you get that gray look to it. And I'm just doing one more final coat of amber and blending in so it looks a little bit more natural. And then I take clear shellac, not amber, clear shellac. And I'm going to just put one or two coats on where the... Uh, the wood is bare because I don't want it to not have any kind of finish on it. And then I'll dot down to make it look a little bit more natural. I'm just rubbing it on with a paper towel. And this is what you're left with. So I'm going to leave it here to dry. So this neck turned out pretty great. Um, you know, I'm not no professional or master builder or fender, whatever. I'm just a normal guy doing this at the house. And I wanted to show you guys that you could do this also. And honestly, it turned out really awesome. I like it and I enjoy it. Um, and I can't wait to get together and play. So the next video you'll see is how to age the hardware. So I'm Ronald Jr. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.